Hello there, dear Scorpio. Um, this is Gypsy Love Portal, and I'm going to do a reading here. This is not going to resonate with all of you guys, so take on what resonates. If it doesn't, it's okay. It's not for you. It means it's for uh, another Scorpio that needs to hear this message. All right. So anyways, we started with this card right here. Okay. The Nine of Swords. So this is telling me that someone here, and remember, guys, Take whatever it resonates. It could be vice versa. Okay. Only you know. This is time that someone here is feeling sorrow and pain and sadness in regards to the connection. Um, it could be that, you know, it's an internal kind of feeling. It could be it's possible that you're not sharing with everybody your feelings, your emotions in regards to what's going on here. Um, someone here is very worried. And they're starting to thinking about maybe releasing the connection only because it's, you know, uh, they're very concerned about the way it's going. Uh, someone here is evaluating the connection at this time. So if this is you, Scorpio, I would say it's up to you to choose to stay like this, the way that things are going or, or go, right? Or let it go. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, someone is feeling tormented, having a, you know, can't really sleep well, maybe waking up during the night all the time, kind of, you know, mental anguish, and they just want to be over it, you know. Um, right now, they can't not, they're unable to find peace within the connection. We do have here as a blockage, the Two of Cups, okay? And that's telling me that someone's heart is like between either staying or going, okay? Um, so, like I said, they are, someone here is evaluating and trying to figure out whether they should stay or should they go. Um, so, what I'm gathering here is that don't mistake this relationship as love all right um someone here is not feeling that emotional connection right now they're not clicking okay um um it's more towards maybe you know it, it, it's it's more is it, it as if it is as if you guys would get along more as friends than lovers you know um someone here is not seeing eye to eye Someone here is finding others attractive, okay? Which means doors are open. All right, Scorpio? Um, and, and then at the same time, they have this other side, like, oh, you know, um, you guys do have a fun chemistry when you guys have a good time, you know? And laughter and... Um, and you know, you know, laughter, fun, and all this stuff. But like I said, I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little bit under the weather, so you're gonna hear my nose sniffles. <laughs> but anyways, um, someone here, so they're they're pretty much uh, uncertain, okay, of the connection. You guys do have good times together, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to I guess serious and commitment it becomes it's a bit weak on that section of the relationship okay and we do have here in reverse the uh judgment all right and what that's telling me is that uh someone here will be going through a divine punishment okay it's possible that it is going right now uh resisting the call okay um, whether it's to fix the relationship or to walk away from this, the resisting it, um, it's causing someone to feel quite uncomfortable and they only want what is more familiar to them. You know, they, they, they've been declining or will decline a few things. They have self doubt. Um, they're, you know, they're eventually going to face their higher power. So it's more like a mental punishment of some sort, okay? In a criticism and 
it, they're like I said, they're ignoring the call, okay, of of the heavens or etc. You know, of the angels. So there's no guidance here. Um, they're pretty much um, walking through life like sleepwalking. You know, like a zombie. Okay, to the love life right now, because like I said, something is causing anguish in the relationship. Someone here is hesitant to commit, but let's keep going further. We have in reverse here, the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles uh, at someone here is definitely not stringing the other partner along, okay? They're not breadcrumbing. Only you know, Scorpio, who this is. Someone here um, is open for changes towards, you know, the next level, is sure about and uh, about the connection, ready for a change, you know? So this is definitely not the other person, the one that's hesitant and declining things, you know, to move forward. This is definitely now the other partner. Their view is not is not blocked right now to where this should be going in the first place, okay? Uh, but they definitely want to get in a rot. If things are not working now, they don't want to, you know, have that stuck feeling and being stuck in a situation like this. And I also see here that someone in the, in the connection is super stubborn, you know, and not taking, in, in, and not taking its time to think th think things over, you know, and try to make things work, all right? Um, we do also have here the magician. Someone is manifesting something. Um, this is more like Scorpios, if, if this is you going through through, you know, sorrow and pain in regards to the connection that you're in right now. I would say just pay attention to your thoughts, you know, and inject them with good things because you are the co-creator of your experience, okay? Um, and in, you do have the tools to navigate this through, okay? That's available to you right now, which is thoughts, actions, feelings, doings, Okay. Another thing that I see here is that um, someone here is very impressive kind of person, unique and different, maybe mystic, you know, mysterious, like, you know, uh, loves entertainment. I also feel here with this magician is that um, you do have the power to change your reality that you are experiencing right now, okay, Scorpio? You do have the power. So... So, you know, just pay attention to your thoughts and pay attention to the behavior of others. Observe them, okay? Because I don't like the card that's right next to it, which is the Five of Swords, okay? Um, so, someone here is feeling that there's no point, you know, if, like, if, if there's no point of, fighting for or trying if if someone here is already the loser you know um it's almost like if, if it's not worth the trouble even trying for you know uh someone here is, is feeling displeasing about what's going on someone here is sneaky okay so careful if this is not you, Scorpio, be careful. Someone here is being sneaky. They're sabotaging the connection, the love. Um, someone here, it's possible they are thinking about running away because they don't want to deal with the situation, you know. Um, someone here, they, uh, they want to have the upper hand at all costs, pretty much. It's like, I win, you lose, you know. Anything, anything you do, I can do better, you know. So, and having no regrets or regards for, you, for, for your feelings, which is, you know, horrible. Um, yeah, and people around you, uh, Scorpio, they are envious of the opportunities that you're having in your life right now. So watch out for that. 
you know, the evil eyes. So put on a protection around you, some sage, light up some candles, okay, uh, to protect your aura. If they see that you're starting to do really good, it's possible that they will come back and, you know, and interrupt a few things. So make sure you protect your water because you do have the devil here right next to that. I am so sorry your reading is kind of dark. So, you know, someone here is toxic, you know, and that's why things are going the way they are. So watch for the red flags. It is holding you back from being creative, from, from reaching your goals, uh, from becoming who you really are, okay? And they're holding back from, um, from making the connection. How can I say? It's not improving, pretty much. At least, not yet. I don't know. But let's see. Let's keep on going. We're going to do some clarifications. Someone here feels feeling restricted. There, someone here is not making someone a priority with this devil here, okay? Um, greed and, you know, some guilty, uh, lies. Hopefully, there's no cheating, okay? Um, so, someone here needs to release what no longer pretty much serves them, okay? Uh, someone here is very easy to give up, if anything, if there's any little arguments or anything, they just walk away um, and give up, you know, instead of facing it and handling the situation, dealing with the situation to make things work. Um, uh, for some, someone here is attached um, to you, though, still, uh, or, or you to them, right? Take wherever this resonates, it could be vice versa. Um, they can't get enough. Um, they're unsatisfied, um, and if they are unsatisfied with their desires, they can look elsewhere, right? Other places, so be careful. They pretty much like to get what they want with you, all right? Um, we do have here next to the devil the blockage card, which is the five of coins, okay? Okay. And that's it. So you have two blockages here. The heart from, from you know, loving and from growing, you know, because there's some kind of restriction there. That someone is still, it's holding back their emotions. But, you know, with this um, five of coins, it's possible that someone is kind of selfish, you know. Like in, they're very guarded. They don't reveal everything. Not able to open up, open their heart, you know, to soften things a, a bit. It's possible that someone here is very possessive, um, and very self-protective, um, and um, these are people that don't like to share what they have, you know, feelings, information, anything that will expose them, okay? Or they don't want you to find out things. At the same time, um, it's like, it's almost like, uh, how can I say... They're, it's possible that they're not quite financially stable, but they're trying to be here, someone here as well, because of the blockage. So be careful with spending. Make sure you save your money, all right? Because you never know for emergencies and things like that. Um, someone here is more giving in the relationship, and, and the other one is more the taker, okay? Um, and that's not a good thing. Not a good thing, because sharing is caring, right? So... Um, and um, it's possible that someone here is still is kind of, uh, kind of hanging a little bit to another, if not another relationship, to someone from the past or present that could maybe just pop up in their lives. And they could be, this is why they're kind of not interested in, in pursuing commitment at this time. Um, which they have to release it in order to be able to fully commit to the connection, right? Um, so this is for some of you, not for all Scorpios, but definitely for some Scorpios that need to hear that. I'm saying that, especially the blockage here next to the devil, you know? Uh, so someone here obviously is very hurt because they have strong emotions to the other person that's not given all the way, you know? And they're hiding and lying about a few things. Uh, maybe it's a lot of things. Who knows? Anyway, so then we have here in reverse the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, 
So this is pretty much someone failing to, you know, launch an opportunity here, a grand opportunity. And hopefully they won't regret it later. You know, it's lack of effort, um, insecure, um, you know, um, not able to grow, you know. Um, it's an Indian giver, you know, a, a user. Um, maybe small offers, you know, that won't lead to anywhere or of growth, if anything. Or small little talks here and there, but nothing stable, you know, no opportunities, you know, lack of information, not much coming through, you know what I'm saying? Bad investment. That's pretty much what it is. So it's a lack of opportunity. Okay. And then we have here in reverse as well is the seven of swords. So some one of you, it's so funny that this is like right underneath the five. Okay, so one of you here is definitely not cheating, not lying, and want to be done with this situation, you know? And, and the other one here is, all right? One, one of you is done with dating and, you know, wishes because it's next to the wish card that this could work and, you know, have a little bit of time of hope here, you know? But it's kind of hard to grasp this person, you know, so somebody still have that wishful thinking and hope, a little spark of hope, though, because, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much faith in it because right now it's not looking good. But we're going to do the clarifiers and see, right? We also have, though, next to, to this here is the reverse card, which is the six of coins. So... Yeah, so yeah, like, you know, I said, somebody's kind of stingy and they kind of, you know, greedy and selfish, self-centered, you know, no efforts, not as much. Uh, it, it, they don't have to be a gold digger, but they're definitely not providing like they should, you know, um, or supporting as they like they should not just in in money i'm not talking about that but being supportive in the connection both working hard to make that something happen out of it you know um but yeah um so it is i would say breadcrumbing you know like trying to drag someone is dragging someone here as far as far as they can just because because like i said that they're they're leaving their doors open right at least don't know that you're always there, Scorpio, or vice versa. Um, um, you know, um, especially they thought they had you figured out, Scorpio. But you're 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 gonna outsmart this eventually, okay? From what I see here, or vice versa. But anyways, so someone here uh, is not given. You know, it was not give and take, sharing uh, kind of relationship pretty much but let's do some clarifications because i hope i get something good out of this something uh let's go ahead and clarify um what's going on with that blockage two of cups please why the two of cups is there oh my gosh okay someone here is falling out of oh, this is the king of cups in reverse okay Someone here is kind of falling out of love, you know. Uh, I'm so sorry. No wonder someone here is feeling that. There's, they're feeling the, the, you know, how can I say, disconnection, little by little, if not already strongly, but it, it is happening, you know, from what I see here, and that's why the blockage is there. What once was there, it seems not to be there, okay? Because when this king is like this, he's ready to settle down, you know, et cetera, et cetera. He knows what he wants, but this person here is not ready for that. Definitely not ready for settle down. Um, yeah, all right? Let's go ahead and do some more clarifiers. Let's go ahead and um, clarify... The devil in reverse let's see why is the devil in reverse there and uh, not reverse sorry the devil it's not in reverse but what is the devil there oh already came out in reverse more cards my gosh so um yeah so six of cups um 
because someone here is not there when they need to be in the connection. You know, when it's, let's say if you're feeling down or if you're crying or, or something like that, Scorpio, this person just wants to have a good time. They are not being supportive and there for you when the time gets tough and rough like they should be. So, you know, um, but you are missing, you miss the kind of connection that you, you had. Obviously, once you had a strong connection with this person, because for this to happen strongly in reverse, you know, it tells me that you guys once had a, a, a bond together. But it's possible that the bond is kind of breaking right now, okay? Um, or not going to... Uh, I don't see this lasting, you know, um, I mean, this could last in your mental, in your mind for a long time, of course, because you have strong emotions for this person, but they're not there for you. It's, you know, it's possible that you're there for them, but you're, they're not there for you like they should. You know, they ignore your feelings, they ignore your, you know, anyways, so that's pretty much, but like I said, it could be reverse, it could be vice versa, I mean. Um, let's clarify just one more here. I would say let's go ahead and do um, what is uh, let me see what is a card that's, that I feel the calling here. I want to do the calling. I feel the calling. Let's go for the calling card there that someone is resisting that call. Yeah. Okay. I see the um, strength card. Uh, it's possible. Look. If both of you were in it together, this connection could be strong. But unfortunately, someone needs to have strength. And someone here doesn't have the strength anymore to make this happen. It's almost as if they are hanging on strings right now, whatever there's left. And like stringing along, you know what I'm saying? And see where this goes. Because A, it is very weak. Uh, because it felt right in the reverse where they're resisting the calling. Um, it's possible they don't want to put their strength on this connection and saving for the next connection. You know what I'm saying? Let's do some Oracle. Take whatever that resonates. Why should Scorpio... Oh my gosh, too many. I'm going to take the first one that I can see out. And let's continue. Some more, please. Or Scorpio. Oh, this wanted to come out right here. Okay. A few more for my Scorpio, please. Thank you so much, universe, spirits. What should Scorpio know? Thank you. A few more, please. My Scorpio. Oh, oh, okay. Let's take some. Let's take those. It's a lot, but it's okay. So, first of all, Self-love, okay? I'm still trying to heal. So there's a lot of healing to do. It's time, maybe you should take some time out here, Scorpio, for yourself, self-love. Find yourself again. Go within like the hermit, you know? And so that you can find and, and think clear, okay? Because it could be that things are a bit, very sensitive right now, right? Secrets. Someone here is, have secrets. I haven't told you everything. All right, so someone here, like I said, is hiding. Uh, or maybe lying or telling you everything, right? They're holding back. Of course, I should have expressed um, myself better. So, yeah, this person, like I said, they're not expressing their love. They're, and etc., etc. Uh, damage. We are both hurting from this. Yeah, probably are. You Both of you probably know what should be done. I'm sure there's a choice to be made. Um, but somebody's having a hard time of maybe making that choice, right? Because it's hard. Understanding. I see your side of the story. It is possible that someone here is seeing their side of the story, but they're not being accepting and they're not being supportive because they're not on the same page, okay? Um, and then chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. This could be you, Scorpio, getting tired of dealing with this and chasing the love that's not there or damaged right or this could be your person um commitment i want you to be part of my future so someone here was hoping for a commitment it's possible that in the past you guys did talk about it 
or dreamed about it, wished about it, right? But it seems that it's on very huge delay right now. <laughs> Habits. I don't know if I will ever change. Yep. Somebody here, sometimes they already have their mindset. They don't know if they can change this reverse king back into that. I'm um, not sure really what happened between you guys, Scorpio, but you probably do. And it's time for you to figure things out. Maybe when you take the self-love, self-time to figure things out so you can have more a clear mind, you would know. Or maybe your person would actually step up to the game, right? But I don't know. We'll see. Space. I need more time to think. Yeah, Scorpio. See, someone here needs their space, need their break because they are uncertain about the connection at this time. Okay. Um, it's not telling me here what exactly happened. It's unknown to me whether it was cheating. It could be a mixture of everything. It could be, you know, lying. Who knows? Only you know. Um, but anyways, we're going to stop here. Uh, thank you so much, Scorpio. I hope, hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, Till next time. Namaste. Much love to you. Bye-bye.